Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make 5 easy transitions you can use for your next edits, let's begin. First one is Lens Distortion Warp Transition, let's create a new adjustment layer. Now go to the midpoint between your two clips, then scroll back 10 frames, hold shift and press page up. Cut that adjustment layer and then scroll to the middle again. This time go 10 frames forward, hold shift and press page down and then cut the ending. Let's now scroll to the beginning of an adjustment layer and then apply optics compensation effect. Check reverse lens distortion and then click on FOV stopwatch icon to add a keyframe. Now scroll to the middle of an adjustment layer and bump up FOV to 100. Scroll to the end now and then change FOV back to 0. Let's go back to the beginning again and apply fast box blur effect. Click on blur radius stopwatch icon and then press U on a keyboard to reveal created keyframes and then scroll to the middle of the layer and change blur radius to 6. Change blur dimensions to vertical and then in case blurriness is not enough, simply bump it up until you are happy with it. Then scroll to the end of an adjustment layer and change blur radius back to 0. Let's quickly check it. Second easy transition is Spin Blur Transition. I will be using the same adjustment layer and let's apply several effects on it. Apply Motion Tile Effect, then Transform and then Fast Box Blur. Make sure you are at the beginning of an adjustment layer and then under a Transform Effect, click on Rotation Stopwatch icon, then scroll to the very end of an adjustment layer and change rotation to 1. If you play the video, it should look like this. Uncheck Use Composition Shutter Angle and then bump up Shutter Angle to 360 to add blurriness. Now let's fix these black edges, under a Motion Tile Effect check Mirror Edges and then bump up Output Height and Width to 200. Now scroll to the beginning and then under a Fast Box Blur Effect click on Blur Radius Stopwatch icon to add a keyframe, then scroll to the middle of an adjustment layer and change Blur Radius to 15. Scroll to the end now and then change Blur Radius to 0. The rotation is ready, but we still need to create a smooth curve in the graph editor to make it look even better. Press U on a keyboard to reveal all created keyframes and then select all of them and press F9 on a keyboard to easy ease them. Now go to graph editor, right click here and select edit speed graph and then make a smooth curve. Let's check it and then we can jump to another one. Third easy transition is a twist transition, this one is my favorite and I use it in my edits as well. On an adjustment layer apply warp effect. Scroll to the beginning and then make sure to change warp style to twist. Change bend to zero and then click on bend stopwatch icon to add a keyframe. Now scroll to the middle of the layer and change bend to 60. Let's scroll to the end and then change bend back to zero. Press U on a keyboard and then select all created keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor and make a smooth curve like mine. Also enable motion blur on an adjustment layer and we can check the transition. And the fourth transition is a flash effect, the easiest one you can do, but it also looks so effective. Create a new solid layer. Name it to whatever you want and then make sure that the color is white and the size of the solid is the same as your composition and then hit OK. Scroll 10 frames forward and cut that solid. Now move it above your two clips like so and then scroll to the beginning of a solid layer and press T on a keyboard. Click on Opacity Stopwatch icon to add a keyframe and change it to 0%. Scroll to the midpoint of your two clips and bump up Opacity to 100%. Scroll to the end now and change Opacity back to 0%. Let's quickly check that one as well. And the last one is a zoom transition. Let's create a new adjustment layer. Scroll 10 frames forward and cut it there. Now move it to the very end of your first clip like that and then scroll to the beginning of an adjustment layer and apply a transform effect. Click on scale stopwatch icon to add a keyframe and then scroll to the end and change scale to 300. Slightly scroll back so we can see the changes and then uncheck use composition shutter angle and change shutter angle to 360 to add blurriness. Now duplicate that adjustment layer and move it above your second clip. Press U on a keyboard and scroll to the beginning of it and change scale to 30. Now scroll to the end and change scale to 100. If you scroll back, you will see these black edges, to fix them, apply motion tile effect. Move motion tile effect above transform and then make sure to check mirror edges and change output height and width to 300. The zooming is almost ready, it needs slight touch and we are done. Select first adjustment layer and press U on a keyboard to reveal all keyframes and then select all of them and press F9 on a keyboard to easy ease them, then go to graph editor, right click here and select edit speed graph and make a smooth curve like mine. If you scroll to the middle you will see that weird picture and to fix it really quickly, make sure to drag second adjustment layer's first keyframe one frame backward, and on a first adjustment layer move second keyframe one frame forward. It's fixed and we can now check the transition. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.